I think this was a great comment. A man is basically saying that Paul wrote letters to all the different churches throughout um, what is called, you know, Asia Minor, Asia, um, the Gentiles, Rome, uh, North, you know, those those different places. Um, possibly there are two Antiochs. There's an Antioch that's in North Africa and there's an Antioch in Turkey. But I'm more to believe that he was writing to the Antioch in Turkey. So that would be the Asia, Asia um, location. And he's saying that he didn't write anything to any churches in Africa. And I found that interesting. I never thought about that before. He actually never did. All the churches re are revolving around the Roman Empire. And although we want to say that it was an actual Paul who wrote these letters, although there is no, none of these letters are original to the era that Paul would have lived if he had ever existed, to which I don't believe he ever existed. But these letters are a couple of hundred years after everything supposedly happened, just like everything else is a couple of hundred years after everything supposedly happened. Well, that just lends to the fact that the only concern of a Christianity, of Christian churches that they had was in the Roman Empire. And the Roman Empire never conquered Ethiopia. Although there was trade and influences going on, yes. And there is an Ethiopian Orthodox Church. I get it. But it seems like they didn't give two rat's asses about it. And the reason why it's interesting is because Rome didn't control e Ethiopia. So then there was no need to try to organize, as my man here is saying, organize uh, Christianity. Or, in other words, to subdue the infighting in Christianity that was going on throughout the Roman government, the Roman Empire, which lends back to the first reason why Vespasian came was to stop the Jewish revolts because they was waiting on a military messiah. And now here are the Christians that backfired from what Vespasian started. And here are the Christians having infighting throughout the Roman Empire. And the Roman emperor's job is to maintain stable and keep it stable. So Paul is writing these letters to try to calm these churches down. And then, but none of these people had this Bible. There was no Bible, like my man said. They had different letters from different people and different scrolls and all these different things that were relatively new to them. It was fresh. Nothing was old, which is an understanding of how is it that he just kept writing and it was only focused on the Roman government, which shows further thought provoking ideas that it is a Roman invention to subdue people and control people that later became a force that does subdue and control people. It's a good comment. I like it.